Okay, well, nice little pickup today. Oh, probably half the bed. I forget what the weight was right off the top of my head. But there's some nice ones in there. There's a nice old one there. That's going to be fun to take a look inside of. And there's a couple that look like they might be oldies. But right now we got to get her unloaded. Then I got to get rid of some stuff here. Old fridge. I got some pieces of car. Anybody need a F-250 body? Or a couple pieces of a body? <laughs> and then we got, yeah, these aren't... We're not making very good progress here. It's like I get, I'll get done a whole stack of these things and then I'll bring in two stacks of these things. So I have really got to get going here. Of course, then my other problem is I got shred backed up. And the prices are terrible, but I still, I got to keep them moving. I got to get the shred out of the way because uh, if I don't get it out of the way, then I got no place to put the stuff so we get jammed up as you can see we're a little bit jammed up yeah so we're gonna do a uh, run to the yard that I sell my computer stuff to locally get these power supplies out of the way get the mid grades uh, low grades oops mid grades low mid grade low grade that's peripheral for board sort so that doesn't go and I'm deciding if I want to take these high grades in. I have another yard that I'm looking at that I might want to start using, but they require Gaylord size quantities. So here's a Gaylord. Um, I've been setting aside green power boards and brown power boards because, yeah, those are brown. The ones you see that are green there, they're brown on the other side. Uh, because that new yard that I'm looking at, they want them separated. But I need to have a Gaylord box full, and I'm trying to decide what makes the most sense. Um, you know, what, what would I accumulate fast enough, and then what would be worth the drive to the new yard, because it's a little bit of a drive. So, whilst I ponder these deep thoughts, I'm going to unload the shark mobile and get to work on some stuff. Okay, I've got to make some room, so I'm taking this stuff into the scrap yard that is very close, about a half mile away. Um, it's interesting when I do the math, um, if you take the difference that they pay me versus the yard up in Jacksonville that pays me better, uh, it pretty much balances out because of the cost of the fuel. Now there are some times when I have no choice but to go to the yard in Jacksonville because they're the ones that buy a lot of the electrical stuff from the electrical, the uh, computer components from me, the lower grade stuff that I don't sell the board sort. So sometimes I have no choice but to go to Jacksonville and so what I usually do is load up the stuff that I'm going to sell up in Jacksonville and then take up whatever space is left over with shred material so the good thing about the local yard is they're only half mile away the bad thing is they're only paying four cents a pound but if you factor in the fuel like I was talking about earlier for what it costs to go up to Jacksonville where they pay me better uh, you know it's kind of a wash uh, so when I just need to get rid of shred material the local yard is fine and then I can get back to the shark cage and get to work on other things. Okay, the shark mobile is loaded with computer components, lower grade material that I sell here and not to board sort as well as shred oh 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 well that was close that was almost man he almost lost thing. it on that one that was not very smart okay anyway what was i oh yeah i've got a load of things to sell here at what they call buyback uh so first we're going to go unload some shred assuming i can get in here i'm not right really quite sure what's going on right now and then we'll go around to buy back and sell off some components. We'll see if Willie's back there.
So this is kind of cool. Um, I stopped recording for a while because it was just kind of boring, but this is kind of cool. The They're using the big green thing to uh, clear a lot of the small debris, so he grabs hold of a great big roll of chain link fence, and then he drags that across the ground to pick up the small metal stuff that's laying around uh, and try to sweep it out of the way, try to preserve the tires on the uh, large trucks and things. We don't usually drive back there. Every now and then I have to go back to where that crane is uh, for some of the heavier cast items, but usually that's their vehicles that are, that are going back there. Where you want me, man? Okay. So now we go back over the scale to get the weight for the shred, and then we head into the buyback area.
Well, Willie's here, but he's running around on the forklift. So I get to introduce you to one of the new guys that you haven't met before. This is T, uh, Terrence, I believe, T, T13. Uh, so uh, we're gonna work, oh, there's Willie. Hey, Willie, what's going on, man? I gotcha. So I give T a lot of credit. He was very curious about the different grades of the boards, how to tell the difference between the mids and the high grades, uh, the way they classify them here at um, this yard. And because I've worked with their e-waste buyer a lot, I know how he uh, looks at the board. So I'm just helping the new guy out understand the difference between what they call mid-grade boards, which are basically any of the motherboards that are other than green, and then there's those miscellaneous, uh, low peripheral, and uh, kind of junk. They're not the brittle boards, they're not the low-grade power boards, but they're also not a good high-grade board. Uh, this yard uh, classifies green motherboards as high-grade. Now, I could throw in the telecoms and those kind of things and sell them here, but I get enough money from board sort, even after I pay shipping, that it's better for me to sell higher grade material like peripheral high and telecom boards and such to board sort. So uh, that's what we, that's the way it plays out here with these guys. Now, one problem we kind of run into sometimes is they don't have enough bin space for boards and things when I bring them in so sometimes they just give me some empty bins and I just leave these in the bins that they're in. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, don't forget, if you want to be part of the Shark Scrapper Shark Adoption Project 2 for 22, where we're going to try to adopt two sharks with the University of Miami Shark Research and Conservation Program, it's really easy. There's a lot of ways to do it. You can become a patron through my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash shark scrapper. You can also... Uh, send me money through my PayPal account, paypal.me forward slash shark scrapper. Or you can just go ahead and send me an old fashioned check. The mailing address is in the about page tab uh, on my home page. Make sure you let me know if you want to remain anonymous because I try very hard to be as transparent as possible uh, and share what people have been donating. Now, don't leave just yet because you need to. You need to see what's going to happen here coming up. Sometimes the shark scrapper is just not the brightest bulb on the tree. I have got to give GoPro some props here. I forgot and left my GoPro sitting on the cab of the truck. And it sat up there while I went in and waited around a little bit to get paid. And it sat up there baking in the Florida sun. I mean, it was, over, it was about 96 degrees today. Uh, it shut down because it overheated, which is unfortunate because when I still left it up there, and pulled out on the main road and it went crashing down into the bed of the truck that would have made a pretty cool little video but it had already shut down because of overheating however the camera is fine it still works like a champ so GoPro tough little cameras the links popping up here are gonna take you to more shark scrapping videos where you can watch and see what's the next stupid thing shark scrapper is gonna do and if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of those silly things, there's a round icon in the middle to help you subscribe. Have a great day, everybody.